In this video, I will give you my top reasons why Linux is better than FreeBSD and why you should use it. In my previous video, I already gave you my top reasons why FreeBSD is better than Linux, so it's only fair to turn the game around and let's see where Linux is better. If you haven't checked out my previous video and you're interested why and when would you use FreeBSD instead of Linux, then you can find the link to the video up there or down in the description. If you don't know what FreeBSD is, it is an open source Unix operating system like Linux. On the surface it also looks like Linux, but under the hood it uses the FreeBSD kernel instead of the Linux kernel. Of course this is not the only difference and we will cover some in this video. But before we start with the comparison, welcome to the channel. Here you can find topics about Linux, Docker, game dev or software development in general or short agile dev art. If you like that kind of content, then give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. All the links from this video are down in the description and also down there are the timestamps, so you can skip any part if you want. The first reason why Linux is better than FreeBSD is an obvious one, popularity. So people are rather choosing to use Linux than FreeBSD. So let's take a look at the statistics. I'm here on the StatCounter website and according to the website, in November 2023, Linux had a market share of 3.21%, where FreeBSD had a market share of 0.01%. Now those numbers that you see here are actually the desktop operating system market shares worldwide. So what this basically means is that on 321 people that use Linux, there is one that uses FreeBSD. Now both Linux and FreeBSD market shares are very low in comparison to Windows or Mac OS for instance, but FreeBSD is so low that it's not even listed here on the chart. So this here is a one year chart, as you can see here is Linux, the red one, green one is Chrome OS, here is Mac OS and here is Windows. And then down here at the bottom, this dotted line, those are the others and FreeBSD is one of the others. If we extend the chart, to cover the full range from 2009 till now. Then the red line here, this is Linux, it's slowly gaining market share. And then this here, the dotted line, actually at one point was better than Linux. This point right here, it's really hard to see. At the beginning of 2014, the other operating systems had a bigger market share than Linux had. Maybe this was FreeBSD, from this chart it's not really clear. But even if this was FreeBSD, this was the only time in the past 15 years maybe. So from this metric, it is obvious that Linux is more popular than FreeBSD. It would also be nice to see a bigger number here on FreeBSD, but for now it is how it is. The second point where Linux is better than FreeBSD is innovation. There are many more projects developing on Linux than on FreeBSD. The variety of projects on Linux is overwhelming. Since so much development is going on in the Linux space, it's safe to say that also most of the innovation comes from Linux. When something new comes out on Linux, it's always the question when will it be available on FreeBSD and can it even be available natively? It's very rarely the other way around. I'm not aware of any feature or tool that was ported from FreeBSD to Linux in the past 5 years. If you know a good example, then please let me know down in the comments. On FreeBSD you always have a feeling that it is one step behind Linux and that Linux always has the latest and the greatest features. Now it's only fair to say that you have a similar situation also going on inside the Linux space itself where you could say that Debian is always a step behind Arch because Arch has always the newest packages but then because of that Debian tends to be more stable and also FreeBSD tends to be exceptionally stable. Obviously you cannot have both so if you're going for the newest features, take Linux. Now just to give you a comparison, what's going on inside the Linux space and FreeBSD space, I'm now here on the Linux Foundation projects page. Here you can find a list of projects that are actively developed on Linux and as you can see the list is almost endless. I'm still scrolling. Almost done. There we are. Now if I compare this to the FreeBSD Foundation page, FreeBSD Foundation has a similar projects page and down here you can see the list of FreeBSD projects. And that's it. If I counted correctly, there are 61 projects on this page. 
Now let's go back to Linux Foundation. Now here from bottom up, 60 would be somewhere here. And there are still so many to go. Now in my opinion, the reason why Linux is so successful and has so many projects is probably the license. And I know in my previous video I told that FreeBSD has a beta license because it's not so restrictive. If you as a developer are using code that is licensed with the Linux GNU public license, then you're also forced to license your code with the same license. Usually you want to avoid the Linux GPL license because this also means that you need to make your code open source. So the Linux GPL license is a big no-go for many companies. But it also has an interesting side effect that benefits Linux. If you use the Linux GPL license, then you're forced to be a part of it, and then you're also part of the big Linux community. It is a very proud community, and it encourages you to openly say, I'm building on Linux, and here is my project. And also the community helps you to promote your project. On the other hand, the BSD license is not so restrictive and it doesn't force you to use the license, so it is potentially more attractive to companies. Of course, if you want to join the free BSD community, you are very welcome to do so. But if you don't, it feels like you're using just another tool. Like a screwdriver, and you don't call yourself necessary a mechanic just because you're using one. On Linux, you kind of would call yourself a mechanic. So this is a point for Linux. The next point where Linux is better than FreeBSD is a good one. Gaming. In the last few years, gaming on Linux became so good that even Windows games run smoothly on Linux, sometimes even better than on Windows. Thanks to improvements inside the Wine compatibility layer and the Proton version of it inside Steam and the Steam Deck, the list of Windows games playable on Linux is ever increasing. Maybe it's not so easy to set everything up as on Windows, but on Linux you have many tools that can help you configure everything. You have Bottles, Play on Linux, Lutris, Heroic Game Launcher, Steam, and all the various Wine and Proton versions that you can use. And it feels like that there is a new Wine version every month, so the gaming experience improves constantly. On FreeBSD you also have Wine, and you can also play games on it. And I will definitely make a dedicated video about it with the Linux vs FreeBSD gaming performance comparison. And the link to the video should be up there or down in the description. The games that do work on FreeBSD worked actually pretty good. I was honestly impressed. And if you do it right, maybe you even get a few FPS more? Maybe? But only if you get it working, because you have only a few Wine versions to try out. You have Wine version 7, an experimental Wine Proton version, which is also Wine version 7, and then you have Wine version 8, which is only 64-bit. And then maybe a few other Wine versions, and that's about it, for now. And you don't have all the helper tools like on Linux, so you are basically on your own configuring everything. So does it make sense for you to go through all the hassle to set everything up manually yourself, just for a 2% FPS gain? That's for you to decide. So if you just want to play games on an open source operating system, take Linux, it's not perfect, but it's much easier. In a previous video, I also did a Linux versus Windows gaming performance comparison, so if you want to know which OS is better for gaming, then you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. The next point where Linux is better than FreeBSD is hardware compatibility. Most devices are supported on FreeBSD, but maybe you have a Wi-Fi adapter or dongle or maybe a webcam or maybe a special device like a gamepad controller or joystick or maybe a drawing tablet that is just not supported on FreeBSD. Nowadays those devices work out of the box on Linux, it's just plug and play. So if you use those devices on a daily basis and you want to use FreeBSD, then probably you will need to buy a new device that is actually supported on FreeBSD. Also, as mentioned, GPUs are a bit tricky, especially the hybrid ones. There actually is a command on FreeBSD to force something to run on an NVIDIA dedicated GPU. It's nice to have that level of control, but maybe you don't want to think about it. Usually Linux handles this out of the box, but on FreeBSD you have to be more specific. Nowadays Linux supports more devices than probably macOS does. And macOS has 8 times bigger market share. But if you use Linux, then nowadays you're probably on the safe side. Now the last point why Linux is better than FreeBSD, in my opinion, it's because it is more addictive. 
Linux often feels like you're playing a game, like you're exploring all the endless possibilities and features of Linux. Exploring Stack Overflow, ArchWiki or maybe some other forum just feels like a quest in a game. And then if you get something working, or maybe you just tweaked something so that it works as you want, you feel like you won a boss fight. And the feeling is so rewarding that it's somehow addictive. Linux users also like to show off. Maybe it's a new desktop, maybe a new tool, or maybe a new feature somewhere. And this further encourages curiosity. But why is then FreeBSD different? FreeBSD can also feel like a game, but more like Lego. You have your features, those are your building blocks, and it's well defined which blocks work well together. And then you follow the handbook, which is like a manual, and you are slowly progressing towards your goal. So you're building something. On the other hand, on Linux, you have a feeling that there is an endless number of features, always something new, always something to explore, always something to show off. And there is also the mentality that maybe you need to break something, that something else works even better. So overall, in my opinion, let's say that Linux is a more fun game to play. If you like my videos and also want to support me, I also have a Patreon page. I really appreciate all the support I get and it's because of your support that I can make videos like this one. So thank you very much and the link to Patreon is up there or down in the description. Those were my reasons why Linux is better than FreeBSD. Honestly, I would love to see both gaining more market share because both are awesome in their own way. Maybe you want to give FreeBSD a shot. In a previous video, I installed FreeBSD on a USB drive and you can find the link to the video up there or down in the description. And that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then like and subscribe. And if you really like the video, down there is a super thanks. So you can buy me a coffee, for instance, so I can make more of those awesome videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.